Hey guys, my name is Jeff Rojas and you're watching Kiss Photo where I literally just try to make photography easier for you. Today we're going to learn how to use picture profile settings in order to judge contrast in an image. Stay tuned for that. So first and foremost, it's very, very difficult to judge color and exposure at the same time. So I use picture profile settings in order to make my life easier. Today, just to judge contrast and judge what type of lighting we're using, it's a very diffused window light. It's about 12 feet tall, I would say about four to five feet wide on our subject. It's a very, very large form of light. So we're gonna have diffused form of light as well. It's very soft light on our subject. Our subject being Robert. It's impolite to not say Robert. Robert. Hello. <laughs> Hi. So we're gonna go ahead and light Robert with, using this diffused window light. Very, very flat form light. Now, if I'm photographing Robert using the standard profile settings, I can judge with a histogram. If you're unfamiliar with how to use a histogram or you don't feel comfortable using one, it's fine. You can do it visually using your camera just by judging contrast. Now, to begin this specific uh, shot, I'm gonna take a preliminary test shot, show you what I see in camera, what I judge is the right exposure versus using the monochrome setting and what the image looks like after I take it there. Perfect. Switches over to standard, beautiful, perfect. And let's see, super model pose, awesome. Okay, so judging one more time, judging based off of the exposure of what I see in the back of the camera and not even just judging histogram, perfect, one more time. We're seeing a very, very flat form of light. I can see that his abs are getting carved out, I can see his features getting carved out, but it's very, very high key on his body. Now, if I'm switching this to a black and white image, or my, my goal is to make a black and white image, it's very difficult to judge contrast at that point. So what I'm gonna do is switch my camera directly over to a monochrome picture style setting. And I'm gonna take that same shot, I'm not gonna switch any settings aside from the fact that I just switched this to monochrome. Let's test that out there. Awesome. So looking at the back of the camera, if you guys wanna go ahead and take a quick shot of that, there's no contrast there, it's very, very flat. So just switching over to monochrome, desaturating all the colors and just photographing the same way, I notice there isn't much contrast in my photo. By looking at it this way, I'm not judging based on the skin tonality. Because visually, if I'm looking at color, I'm always looking at the oranges, reds, and yellows in the skin. I'm judging contrast based off of those pigments of color. By switching it to black and white, all I'm judging is contrast of black or the exposure of light in specific parts. Makes it a lot easier for me to visually see. So let's go ahead and underexpose a tiny bit. Awesome. Perfect, two seconds. So, <clears throat> that's great, but how am I judging white balance? Easy. Gray card, color checker. Here's what we're gonna do. Can you do me a favor? Don't touch the gray card, but keep it towards your face. Same light, nothing's changed. All I need to do is take a preliminary test shot of that. So what that's doing is this. It's giving me access to make sure my white balance is correct in Lightroom because I'm shooting raw. So it's a good way of using the picture profile settings to judge contrast instead of using it for artistic purposes. Hey guys, if you like my video and you're watching on Facebook, please share it with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great weekend.